be a fine line between coincidence and irony. You sure about that map? Unfortunately, there was some nonsense about the discovery of the real King Arthur's tomb here years ago. Soon discredited. And yet another roadside attraction was born. Well, let's see what we can see, shall we? At least it should be educational. the authenticity of this tomb, Alistair. Arthur was the 11th century figure that became legend. The once and future king was as real then as the air I'm breathing now. I don't know, Laura. Excalibur, the sword in the stone. That's how it always goes, isn't it? Pardon? Swords in stones, Alistair. They're part of the monomyth. There wasn't just one Excalibur or one Merlin. We keep seeing swords and deuses all over the world because they were everywhere. So you're saying that everywhere they went, they raised up kings, shaping the course of human destiny? Well, it's a possibility. Who? And what happened to them and their swords? Perhaps they're in Avalon. It's as good a place as any. Except our Merlin was killed and our Excalibur was left in pieces in the hands of the locals. So where's Avalon? I don't know. On the other side of the looking glass, perhaps? It says Bedivere returned a fragment of Excalibur to Arthur after the other pieces were carried off by the knights. <laughs> Take off with your credit cards, did they? Is everything all right? Alistair? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just uh, not my usual evening routine. Then let's go home. 